after we got over the initial shock, uh, those of us who were packing the dinosaur kind of went into our packing mode. But towards the end of the day, it became obvious that something was going on with the town. People around town noticed. They noticed all the cop cars. They noticed the police tape. All of a sudden, there were people with signs out in front of our building. It was clear that people were not happy with what was going on. The protests developed very quickly, so there were a lot of people on the street. I was working for National Geographic, and we were going to take the skull of Sioux and put it into a CAT scan of what they used for the space shuttles to see if we could see inside the skull of Sioux. And Terry Wentz answered the phone, and he said, well, I don't think so. So I got on the next plane I could, and the place was surrounded by cops. I mean, you thought there was a, like a real T-Rex loose on the property. The next day in, they brought in reinforcements, a lot more people. The idea was that we were going to load this stuff up and, and haul it somewhere. And uh, when the uh, director of military support, one of the colonels, got down there, he called and said, hey, General, this is not what we expected. This is a media event. We got school kids out here. We got parents out here. What should we do? And I said, well, just go do it. Oh, 